Hello, everyone. Uh, today we'll be dealing with the topic STAT, FSTAT, and LSTAT functions. Uh, before going into these three functions, uh, we'll just have a look on Unix and POSIX file attributes. Um, let's see what are the file attributes, file type, type of the file, access permission, the file access permission of owner, group, and others. All three we will get. Hard link count, we have two types of uh, links, that is a symbolic link and hard link. So, but in the file attributes, we will get the information of the hard link count. So hope you already know what is a hard link count as uh, uh, it is an aliasing uh, name for the for an any existing file. So we can actually keep a, a, a more than one or, or different names uh, for a particular file. So I can call that file as many names. So when there is so many names with which is accessing the same file, then the count will be increased accordingly. So UID, file owner user ID, GID, the file group ID, the file size in bytes, and last access time is the time that file was last accessed, just opened or done any read or write anything, just open, it's an access. Uh, last modify, modify is like if you make any changes inside the file. Last change time is like if you uh, change uh, the file access permissions that UID, GID or the hard link count that was last change. So that time will be given. Uh, I know number is actually a, it's a single number. The file will have a unique ID um, uh, in a file system. In each file system, we will have a unique ID. That ID. I call it as a inode number. So file system ID is nothing but uh, there is a chance. Why do we have file system ID? Because each and every, uh, there's a chance that one operating system can have more than one file systems. So as we have more than one file systems, each file will be only recognized with respect to the file system. The inode number can be same in two different file systems. So, when I'm storing a file in one file system, I have to give that which is the file system this file is actually uh, stored and what is the inode number for that file ID. So both should be stored, then only I will get an actual location of the file, okay? Now we will come back to the stat and fstat function. Stat and fstat, retrieves the file attributes of a given file. This function actually retrieves the file attributes. That's why I have just uh, brushed up the concepts of Unix file attributes. We have just looked into the list of uh, uh, Unix attributes. So these functions actually is available only to get, to get to know what are the file attributes of a given file. So I have a head of file, systypes, sysstat, unistd, so this is a stat function. So where a stat function's first parameter is a path name, second parameter is a structure. The path name, uh, why do we have a sys types? You'll come to know because I have an enumerated data types that is defined in the structure. Uh, so that's why I need that. And um, a stat is actually is nothing but the stat function or the stat structure is actually defined in that. And uh, the first argument of a stat is a path name that you already know what is a path name. There is f stat. F stat is nothing but I have a file descriptor. What actually they say here? What is the difference between the stat and f stat? The difference between the stat and f stat is only the first argument. The first argument of stat is a path name. The first argument of f stat is a file descriptor. Because it is f, it is a file descriptor status of the uh, file attributes. You, you just want to retrieve the status of the file. Uh, that's nothing but your retrieve the file attributes. So f stat is a file descriptor. Stat is a path name. Path name is absolute path name where you will give your slash, friend slash, specify the complete path hierarchy. But file descriptor, as you already know, we have already seen that when you open a file, 
the return value of a file open function is a file descriptor every process will have will open a file with the file descriptor so if the file is open then you can use f stack because it, we will have a file descriptor for that otherwise directly you can have a path name if the file is not open so that's why both the function is given so let's see what is the second argument the second argument is bo in both stack and f stack is struct stat let's see what is struct stat struct stat is the second ad argument and this uh, the structure is actually defined in sysstat.h this structure okay and all these data types see dave underscore ts everything is defined in sys type slash types.h okay so now what does this structure will have the structure will have all the attributes the variable which stores the information of that particular file attributes so for example you have to underscore uh, so you have to use the same way t underscore db which is a file system id info it's a file i node uh, st file type and access flags it's nothing but what kind of a type uh, file it is it's a regular file directory file binary file fico file device file what is the access flags is mode is nothing but read write execute mode okay next hard link count information user id information major and minor number is actually we have in a device files so every device files will have a major and minor number hope you already know that when we have learned the device files the types of files so major and minor number together that number helps me to identify which device is actually the program or a process is asking for okay it's a combination of two numbers major and minor next file group id file size in bytes last access time modification time last status change time etc so all these file attributes is actually stored in the struct stat okay so by using this so if i if i call the address of this is actually stored there in a stat b variable so if i call that i will get all the information because all these attributes information are stored in the these variables so now we will see this one more um, uh, yeah so let me let us see the return value the return value of both the function is zero if uh, if they succeed or minus 1 if they fail so what is the other possible failures that this function may take it up is that if the path name is not correct or if the file descriptor number is different from the existing one for that file then it is invalid there's one more of possible failures is if you don't have an access permission uh, to access the file um or to or to see the file attributes you should always every file if you want to open and use the file you should need a permission for that if you don't have a permission then it will not happen that's one more possible uh, chances that this function goes to failure situation if path name specified <clears throat> so uh, we have one more called l stat why do we have l stat because there is a symbolic link files also there is a different file names that but nothing but a symbolic link files symbolic link is nothing but it's a completely different file but um uh, in the linked file we will already will have a path of the original file hope you already know that we would have learned all this before so to identify the symbolic link file then the attributes so if you want to know the attributes of a symbolic link file if you use the stat or f stat function then what happens it will go fetch the actual information that's nothing but the original file which is a not a symbolic link file non symbolic link file it will go fetch the information or the attributes of the non symbolic link file i will not get the attributes of the symbolic link file. that's why we use the another uh, a function has actually have they decided to bring it up that's nothing but l stat this gives me the actual symbolic link files uh, attribute so if you want to access the symbolic link file attributes it is always better to use l stat that gives you the actual attributes of symbolic link file if you use stat or f stat it will fetch the attributes of the link what is there inside the symbolic link file that original files will be that attribute will be given thank you